Thank you for choosing CustomMemorialPrograms.com. We consider it a privilege to serve you. Before we begin this short tutorial, I want to take a moment to assure you that all our memorial programs and keepsakes are printed on premium coated cardstock and are of the highest quality possible. Your family and friends will hold on to these keepsakes and treasure them for years to come. So to begin with, uh, feel free to look at all the different products we offer. And then um, for this tutorial, we're going to focus on the program and we'll start with a bifold program. And when you click on that item, a screen will come up that shows you the different themes for that product and then some sample designs within those themes. If you click on one of the images, it will show you the designs, all the designs within that theme. Or you can simply scroll along the side here and look at all the different designs. Um, the other way you can get to different designs is up here with this drop down. Click on that, go to bifold, which is the category, and then the theme, and then whichever design you want to look at. So for now, we'll take a look at the Shoreline Bifold Program design. So once you decide on the design within the theme, you simply click on Select Design and you'll be taken to a product description page. It gives you more information about the product, has a price calculator, and also um, once you see this tutorial you'll see how simple the design program is. But if you need help, um, you'd like to get our help, you simply click on this drop down and select Yes Design Services and um, you will be taken to a form and you can work with our customer care specialists. But in most cases people are going to simply select a layout and customize and you will then be taken to the layout page which shows you the different layouts and you can scroll over them and look at both sides or you can click on them and a larger image will come up you can go back you can see there's seven different layouts the seventh layout here is more of a blank layout it's a do-it-yourself where you basically create all the text boxes all the image boxes but for now we're going to look at uh, layout number two Simply click on Customize, and now you are directed into the design program. So here you see the actual layout with an area that will hold the photo, eventually will hold the photo, and then the different text boxes. And you can look at the back and the front, just scroll between the two, and you'll see what the content is going to be. Before we begin customizing the text, I want to be prepared with my images um, for when we get to the point where we're adding images. So I'm going to click on the Images button over here on the left, and then I'm going to open a folder which I already have prepared that contains several different photos that I'm going to choose from. Now this program that we've selected only has a placeholder for one photo but in case I want to add some other products or do some enlargements I'm going to upload all these photos. And So you just highlight them and drag them right over here under image gallery and now you can see that those photos are uploading and they'll be ready when we're ready. In the meantime we're going to start customizing the text. So I'm going to go to the front of the program first to show you how simple it is to customize the copy. So you can see the, the text boxes here. There's person's name over here on the layout, but also on the left. Um, you, can, you can change the copy in either place and it will change. So I'm going to go to the left here and I'm going to type the name of the person. So I'm going to put his name in all caps. You don't have to. You can have upper lower and you can see that over here on the program um, the copy has been changed and that will apply everywhere. The next thing I'd like to do is highlight a couple of uh, special features when you're changing text uh, on your layout. Um, I want you to pay attention to the left side of the workspace right here. When I click on the Psalm 23 passage, you'll see that a text library button appears along with the pop-up um, text box that always appears over here. Um, when you click on the text library button, an archive of uh, different poems, um, verses, and songs appear. And you can simply select a category, in this case songs, and if you, for instance, want Amazing Grace in that, on that panel, you simply click the Select button. And now you can see Amazing Grace um, has replaced Psalm 23. Of course, you have to change the head heading, so I would highlight Amazing Grace and copy it, just like a word processing program. Highlight Psalm 23 and replace it with Amazing Grace. Take out the colon and then I don't need Amazing Grace in this text box so I can eliminate it there and if I want to get rid of that space I can do that as well. And that's how you change um, a poem or verse or you can obviously copy and paste 
uh, any of your own writings or any other verses or any other poems that you um, would like to replace whatever is in that panel. So that's one nice feature. So for the next feature, I'm going to go to the inside of the uh, program. And you'll see under order of service, um, I may want to make some changes there. But you can see all the copies within the same text box. So what happens is if I highlight, for instance, welcome message and try to change the size of the font, maybe make it 22 instead of whatever it was, you can see that all the font changes. So that's not going to work. So I can go up here to the uh, undo button or the undo arrow. And then if I do want to make special changes, I simply click up here in this text pop-up. Um, there's a button here, Advanced Formatting. When I click on that, that text, whatever copy is in that text box, will appear in this special pop-up. Now I can actually highlight, and I can go over here, and I can change the size, and I can change the font, and I can do that wherever I want to all the headings if I so choose. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to show you that I was now able to change different parts of that copy independently. When I hit the Save button, those changes appear over in the actual text box. So those are two very um, helpful features. So now I want to highlight uh, the placement of images, but this uh, layout only has one image frame, so I'm going to switch over to another layout that has more image boxes. But I want you to keep in mind that when you select a layout, um, make sure that that one layout is the one you're working on the whole time, because if you switch layouts, you will have to start over. All right, so here we are in the new layout, and you can see this layout, which is actually layout three, the same uh, design. Uh, it has more uh, image boxes, so we can add more images. I have a good uh, group of images here. And to add your images, you simply drag an image over to the frame that you want it in, and it will load up. And you can see there's uh, immediately there's a pop-up window that allows you to um, adjust the size of the image, and then simply take your cursor on the hand there to move it um, and position it where you'd like it. And you do the same thing with uh, whatever images you select. Just drag and drop. And you can see that they load up pretty centered within the frame. Um, and what you may want to do, usually, I like to uh, enlarge the images a little bit and reposition them. You can see sometimes, however, that the photo may not have enough image to fill the frame. So on those, you definitely want to enlarge it and then reposition it. And you can see how easy that is. Same with this image. You just click on the image enlarge it, make the adjustments, and you're good to go. If you don't like an image, you want to try something else, just drag another image on top of the prior image, and the new image loads up. You can do the same thing. Adjust that, reposition it, and we're good to go. And the next step would be to click the Preview button up here at the top and review all your work. And if you're happy, you're ready to check out.
So for the next feature, I'm going to go to the inside of the uh, program. And you'll see under order of service, um, I may want to make some changes there. But you can see all the copies within the same text box. So what happens is if I highlight, for instance, welcome message and try to change the size of the font, maybe make it 22 instead of whatever it was, you can see that all the font changes. So that's not going to work. So I can go up here to the uh, undo button or the undo arrow. And then if I do want to make special changes, I simply click up here in this text pop-up. Um, there's a button here, Advanced Formatting. When I click on that, that text, whatever copy is in that text box, will appear in this special pop-up. Now I can actually highlight, and I can go over here, and I can change the size, and I can change the font, and I can do that wherever I want to all the headings if I so choose. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to show you that I was now able to change different parts of that copy independently. When I hit the Save button, those changes appear over in the actual text box. So those are two very um, helpful features. So now I want to highlight uh, the placement of images, but this uh, layout only has one image frame. So I'm going to switch over to another layout that has more image boxes. But I want you to keep in mind that when you select a layout, um, make sure that that one layout is the one you're working on the whole time. Because if you switch layouts, you will have to start over.